And if you simply weigh your graph, you instinct, you have instinct telling you to pull back, to pull off your hand, break off. That's the instinct. But simply use the grip and just make a circular motion. Just a circular, just to keep circling. And then already he's down. And then putting the weight on, on the, his weaker spot, he can't stand up. And even just adding a bit more strength, he's totally down. Yeah, be straight. So simply I circled. Circled my hand, circled my body. There's a strength. And then there's already a lock. Circular motion. And and then small circular motion and then just having a bit of a concentration um, strength added on and it, I'm not using my arm strength or muscular strength it's just a concentration from my back that's extra tonic <laughs> Once you know the principle, then you train your body to turn it. Anybody can do it. Body eventually remembers. 
So as we increase more kata game, so against a different type of punches and kicks, our body should be trained to react instantly to more variety of attacks. That's how I developed. Now it's so close. So you train your reflex as well by reacting to these different type of attacks. On the street, you may, not, you may not get this one, two, three attack, but your body understands to react to any type of attacks by practicing this. As a self-defense, once you block the initial attack from the attackers, then any technique. The initial blocking is really important. <laughs> right? I don't go, go. Substance. So I have to block all the joints by the movement. Feel the board, whole body is locked and can't move your joints anymore. That's how you feel. Once the body is locked, then matter of turning again. <laughs> A lot of strength coming in. <laughs> Hard to see, but that's how what's happening. And then the solidifying, solidifying his bone frame, that's what's happening. All the locked joints solidify his bone frame. And doesn't matter where it's held, so not only hand, now it's elbow. Being grabbed on that looks Ooh. difficult, but again, once it's locked, can't let it go, it's locked. Then putting the weight on it. Looks easy, of course, but see. <laughs> Always try hard. <laughs> to solidify the opponent's body, it's so difficult. Um, it's so loose in the joint. <laughs> <laughs> so Lawrence trying to do put the weight on to try to lock Sensei, but Sensei's body is still so loose, it's not locked, it's so free. <laughs> but when I do the technique on him, his body is locked. <laughs> by feeding the, all the joints and locking the joints and then the, all the frame is locked up so it can't move and then either pushed or turned. And same for the chest wherever it's his grabbing. So, 
usually when you use the joint locks, you turn, but in my case, it's using the higher, like, you know, then just solidify by locking the joints. Lock the joints up. then you can do it against the two, three, you can increase the numbers of opponents and using exactly the same principle. The same thing for me. No, have, by having two separate strengths, it's very hard to deal with, so you have to unite the two strengths into one. It's locked. <laughs> how you feel and there's no control over anymore being looked at. It's locked. Unite all together into one solid. So the whole body becomes one solid substance. That's the Aikido principle. So not dealing three at a time, one at a time by moving. 
And then in the reality, if we're doing it on the concrete outside, or if there's a car, or there's a wall, you can finish one off by one off. Not like this coming up endlessly like zombie. <laughs> because we're practicing on the mat, they will never give up. They will keep coming. Three are always three. But in the reality, we can finish one by one, hitting their, their head hard enough to, to not kill them, but nicely to put them down on the concrete. <laughs> But this is training method, it's not the real, this is training method, so we are showing the training. This anniversary in 10 years time. Of course we need a student to keep training as well as all the family to support them please. Thank you. Thank you very much.